We want to inform you at this time on the ground of the Matic Coalition for Democratic Change. Without delay, I have the pleasing duty to present to you the chairperson, the Gospel China Co, who represents the political leader. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, I have here today here His Excellency President George Mana, we are the for the nation. Those detained include four former members of the National Security Council, the action of indictment by a grand jury. This is the latest transgression of the Waka administration in the Carlos attempt to undermine the rule of law and security of the state. Some of the open and deliberate acts being carried out by the UP administration include the harassment and removal of civil servants from systems based purely along party lines, the excessive use of force against citizens result in several deaths, the non-prosecution of elections related deaths that occurred on camera, the total disregard for the turning laws of the country even in the face of the Liberian Supreme Court ruling, the broad day violence of the procurement laws of the country. This disgrace and denial of benefits of duty commission foreign service official, even as late as yesterday. The president again showed to the nation that he is not a man who respects the rule of law, who he sought to illegally remove the governor, the government, the governor of the Central Bank of Liberia in clear violation of the art creating self institution. The Unity Party can be assured that the CDC will use all legal and political means at its disposal to resist this move to weaponize the country's judicial system to its surface advantage. Yes, Mr. Bwaka, the actions to politicize justice will be resisted and resisted strongly. The United Party government, in the execution of their civil and their evil plan, choose to ignore legal and constitutional reliance, available evidence, and pursue reckless measures. The United Party must be reminded that these antics have only brought about disorder and confusion in Liberia's recent history. The national security laws of the country plainly stipulate the measures that must be taken to safeguard public order. 
in the post-conflict nations such as ours, it becomes an even more challenging task. Intelligence, gathering, and operations the world over have always been of prime concern and prime eminence, requiring authority to exert extra efforts, resources to preserve peace and security. The CDC-led administration remains proud of its record. We preserve the peace, security, and welfare of the country even during the raging COVID-19 pandemic. And at times when the security of the state was at stake. I'm also deeply proud of my record as president, particularly my unwavering respect for the rule of law and my relentless fight against corruption. Sir. You may recall that during my presidency, we advanced the fight against corruption on many fronts, including granting the Liberian Anti-Corruption Commission LACC direct prosecutorial power, which is critical to the fight against corruption. To sustain and further advance this fight, we should not allow anyone the road gains we have made. To utilize its new power to fight corruption effectively, the LSCC must treat all audit reports from the General Auditing Commission, the GSC, equally with our cherry picking to ensure fairness and transparency. Skipping previous GSC audit reports and cherry picking to target only the officials of my administration on a man the fight against corruption. And the Liberian people must see such a move as a weaponizing of the LCC to wish harm for officials of my administration. Like you, my fellow compatriots, I love our country and I've always put our country's interests above and beyond my personal interests. I have championed peace and stability for man, advocating for a ceasefire during the Civil War, to leading disarmament efforts to bring peace, serving as the peace ambassador, and the most recent, by conceding the election even before the pronouncement of final result, you can attest to my selfless and unwavering commitment to the peace, stability, and the betterment of our poor country, our pure country. Sadly, it seems that the Waka administration is interpreting our commitment to the peace and stability of our country as a witness. And therefore, King, on disturbing the peace by weaponizing key government functionaries to wish on officials of the past government. For the UP administration to explore our legal system and risk permitting chaos, it tells you to what extent some politicians are willing to go just to maintain power. This is exactly the path that the citizens sought not to tread, but it maintained the stability of the country against all odds. While spearheading a peaceful transition of power to President Waka, in spite of a hard fought and close election, these political detention have, however, shown the lack of foresight and total disregard on the part of workers and his confidants, caring less about the consequences of their actions insofar as it serves their narrow political interests. Fellow Liberians, the latest move was intended to divert public attention from the lingering economic crisis the nation faces 
and the uncovering of government use of public funds for the central bank to build out a private bank, which the Unity Party used to finance eight elections campaign. It also comes against several instances of disregard of the country's procurement law, thereby committing the country to hundreds of millions of dollars and the deadly robbery of 22 million under the guise of road rehabilitation among the glaring acts of corruption. Suddenly, officials who once gained notoriety for public theft now want us to believe they have transformed into referees of good governance. The CDC will be briefing its partisans in the coming days during a series of mass meetings about the dangerous games of witch hunt by the UP. I call on other members of the opposition to join us in this fight to preserve our political system. I will continue to engage with ECOWAS leaders who countries are given blood and tears to the attainment and sustainable peace and security in Liberia, while notifying other international partners of this plan by the, U by the UP to capture the political system in its favor. I want to assure all that the citizen remains a party of law and order and will bring its full and immense political resources to bear to stop the unity party in Israel. As Nelson Mandela said, and I quote, it is not our diversity which divides us, it is not our ethnicity or religion of culture that divides us. Since we have achieved our freedom, there can only be one division among us between those who cherish democracy and those who do not. <laughs> Fellow Liberians, our country has enjoyed peace and stability for over 20 years, and the people deserve perpetual peace and stability. Therefore, the Liberian people must resist any attempt by the Boaca administration to disturb our heart and peace. God bless Liberia. <laughs>